Ike is taking hold. He's very excited for the demise of sunscreen week. Although, do note that my shoes kind of match this shirt. I need to get another lighter shade of orange to match. Okay, so here's my sunscreen week finale wrap-up video. I'm going to give you my top picks for chemical sunscreens, combination sunscreens, which contain both chemical and mineral ingredients, and then uh, my top favorite untinted mineral sunscreens, and then my favorite uh, mineral tinted sunscreens. So we've got a couple categories here, and I'm just going to start out with uh, chemical sunscreens, organic blockers, and the top place goes to the Purito Centella Green Level Unscented Sunscreen. This was a difficult choice between this one and the Claire Sunscreen, however, this one contains no fragrance, so this one takes the top pick. Absolute favorite, certainly worth checking out. Uh, anyway, so that's the top number one favorite chemical sunscreen. And the number two spot is the Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence, which does have a little bit of fragrance in it. Otherwise, it probably would have taken the number one spot. The fragrance smells a little bit like kind of plastic, but it goes away very, very quickly. So number two favorite, doesn't feel like you have anything on at all. Very nice, a pleasure to use. I reach for it all the time. Okay, number three spot goes to Crave, the Beat Shield Sunscreen Antioxidant Fluid, which is a really nice sunscreen. It does have a little bit of alcohol, so if you have very, very sensitive skin, keep that one in mind. Although I will say after testing it for 30 days, uh, when I read the ingredient list and saw that there was denatured alcohol in there, it was a bit of a surprise to me, actually, because even though it has a liquidy feel, it doesn't feel drying. So they must have really done a good job with the other ingredients to help prevent that from drying out your skin. Okay, so that's number three. Number four goes to one I haven't had a chance to review yet, but I absolutely will soon. The Anessa Sun Milk, which is SPF 35. Really like this. They've got several different... Uh, options. You know what, I'll pick up the other ones and eventually, maybe at the end of this summer, do a compare video of them all. Okay, then we've got the Bioderma Aqua Fluid Photoderm, which has a ridiculously high PPD, which is the level of UVA rays that get into your skin. Uh, I believe this one's 42, which is ridiculously uh, high. So very great for those prone to hyperpigmentation, history of skin cancer, or very, very concerned about uh, the UVA rays. This one's a great one. Bioderma has a lot of great sunscreens out there, but the aqua fluid was just the easiest to work with. So, okay. Then we've got, you're not showing them, are you? In the mirror? Okay. I'm very concerned about the secrets getting out before I reveal them all. Uh, the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. This one's a great one for those that don't like sunscreen. It applies clear. It's got pretty good protection. Not the highest UVA protection, probably, but overall, it's a pretty good list of ingredients and great for those who are in the U.S. and can't really smuggle other sunscreens in and applies very nicely, works well with foundation. And I've gone through a couple other sizes of this and I like this little size. So anyway, okay, a couple more left for chemical. The Neogen Dermology Daylight uh, Sunscreen is really nice. It does have a little bit of fragrance in there, but overall... I do find myself reaching for this one pretty often as well. And when it first came out, uh, this was pretty much the only sunscreen I wore for months after it came out. So still really love it. Pretty affordable as well. So one worth checking out. Um, then we've got the Cos RX Aloe Soothing Sun Cream, which is a great one. It does have a bit of fragrance in it, but it does dissipate pretty much immediately. And it feels really hydrating on your skin. So if you have very, very dry skin, this one's a great one, especially if you're looking for a chemical sunscreen for those with dry or sensitive skin. This one's a good one, a little bit of fragrance, but it does dissipate pretty quickly, but do keep it in mind if your skin is very sensitive to fragrance. Okay, two more left. This one isn't the best daily use face cream because it does have a very, very strong white cast, but if you're going out, you're gonna be outside a lot, or going out on the beach or things like that, this is a great one. I mean, don't be too vain to protect your face. I mean, seriously. It does have a strong white cast, but if you're going to be outside and get a lot of rays, this one will definitely do a great job protecting you. So keep that one in mind. And then the last uh, chemical sunscreen is the Pew Pure Block Aqua Sun Gel. 
which I do like. It does have fragrance, but it does dissipate pretty quickly. And it just works nicely under foundation and reapplies nicely as well. So if you're planning to be outside and know you need to reapply it, this one works great for that. So certainly one worth checking out. And I think it's like $9, which is like ridiculously cheap. So, okay, so those are the chemicals. Now I'm going to do the combination ones. These are sunscreens that contain both mineral and chemical ingredients. So this one is one I picked up a couple weeks ago, which is the Can Make Mermaid Gel, UV gel, which is nice. They say it's for face and body. The tube is pretty tiny, and they do make a couple versions. This one I have is the clear version, although they do have one that has like a pearl finish in it, which gives you kind of more of a white look, which I guess they like. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, no fragrance or anything like that. It applies super easily. It just feels like a moisturizer, really, and certainly worth checking out. Another great um, combination one is the Alpha H Daily Skin Protection Cream, which is more of a moisturizer with SPF in it, but I really love it. It's got a really nice tint to it. A lot of times when I use this one, I don't even finish with the foundation because it has a nice tint to it. Um, a little bit more on the pricey side, but overall, I love this one. This one really, this one surprised me, to be honest. I wasn't expecting too much with it, but it really blew me away, and that takes something quite impressive to do. Okay, one more, two more combination ones. The Elta MD UV Clear SPF 46. This one's great. If you have acne prone skin, oily prone skin, this one's a great one. No fragrance, no alcohol, uh, pretty decent protection from uh, UVA and UVB rays. And then if you have uh, oily or acne prone skin, it's got lots of niacinamide in there, which is great. I always recommend if you have oily or acne prone skin, uh, this is one of the best ones to check out in my opinion and fungal acne, acne safe as well. Okay, and then the last combination one we've got is Tatcha, the poreless uh, sun cream. Is that what they call it? Silken pore, poreless sun cream, which is a really nice one. Um, it does have a little bit of fragrance in there. It's kind of the signature Tatcha scent which in my opinion isn't super strong. It does dissipate pretty quickly. And this one applies really nicely, works well under foundation, and I still love it. So I don't know. It used to be like a big hit. It used to be on all the top 10 lists. And now I think it's kind of maybe, maybe they need to revamp it a bit. Maybe take a little bit of the fragrance out. But overall, I do really like it as well. Okay, then we've got um, untinted mineral uh, sunscreens, which are hard to find, I will say. Um, cause so many of them end up having a strong white cast, but the Purito water comfy sunblock sunscreen sunblock is a great one it applies pretty much clear, but it is a mineral sunscreen and it really works well, um, as a moisturizer. So if you have dry skin, you can apply a serum and then apply this one over it and it feels very hydrating. Although the nice thing is it works well for those with dry and oily skin. Cause I've talked to so many with oily skin. And they find this one works well. It doesn't make their skin feel more greasy, which a lot of ones can. This one doesn't. Very affordable, uh, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, absolute winner in my book. Okay, the next one is a newer one. And I'm going to have to pick up the full size now I've had a chance to try this. This is the new Biosense sunscreen, which is great. It's squalane and zinc. It does apply pretty much clear so it's very impressive. I'm absolutely going to be picking up the full size now, and I'm very impressed with it. A little bit more on the pricey side, but overall, this is one of the best sunscreen redos, in my opinion, going from their original version, which was pretty thick, although I did like it, to this version is light years better, although both are great, but I do like this one. Okay, the next one, and I gave my tube away last year as a, uh, as a giveaway because it was about to expire, that's the uh, Pharmacy Beauty Green Screen, although I think they changed the name recently, but I'm going to be picking up a new tube of that, but if you guys recall my giveaway, I had to give it away. So after I go through all these sunscreens and organize them, maybe I'll do another giveaway because I know it went to good use. Someone's very excited to get it. So, But I love it. Mineral, but little to no white cast. Applies very flawlessly. Works well under foundation. Uh, certainly one worth checking out. And the last one is the Kula Mineral Sun Silk Cream, which I really like. I reviewed it last year when it first came out, and it's very nice. It's moderately hydrating, although I still recommend using a good moisturizer underneath it because it can't do everything. But for just a nice mineral uh, sunscreen, this one's a pretty good option and uh, doesn't have any scent, no alcohol, 
and probably one of the better options from Kula. They're kind of all over the place. They've got some that are really great and some that aren't so great. And I probably reviewed all of them, I think. I think I have reviewed all of them, unless they've come out with a new one since this one. But anyway, so that one's a great one. Okay, now we get to tinted sunscreens. And my first favorite is the Australian Gold Botanical Tinted Sunscreen, which is a really great option. also contains some really great beneficial ingredients which are very exciting some of the beneficial ingredients if you haven't seen the review of this one check it out it's very interesting some of the beneficial ingredients so um, anyway love this one now they've got a variety of different tints to it they've got light medium and dark which is great so if you're on either side of the uh, skin tone spectrum check it out okay the next one is the babo botanicals uh, daily sheer tinted sunscreen which is very, very hydrating. So if you have dry skin, this is a great one. Um, if the Josie Marin sunscreen is too hydrating for you, you might not like this one because this one's also very hydrating. But a very nice option. Tinted, but still looks natural and gives you a bit of a golden finish, which is nice. Okay, one more Super Goop product, which is their Zinc Screen, which I really like. It's tinted, but not super tinted. Gives you a nice finish. This one's another one where I can just apply it and not apply a foundation over it. But very hydrating, mineral-based, no fragrance, no alcohol in here. And this one's also uh, rather affordable. Not as cheap as some of them, but certainly a decent option. Then we've got the Pacifica. This is their uh, mineral sunscreen, which gives you a golden glow. I think it's probiotics as well. And this one it just focuses on zinc oxide. And it gives you a nice glow. It has a bit of a vanilla scent to it. And it really gives you a nice tan look. Also feels super hydrating as well. And certainly worth checking out. Two more. The Peter Thomas Roth Max Mineral Naked Sunscreen with SPF 45. This one's a great one. Very hydrating. Tinted. Works nicely for dry or normal skin. If you have oily skin, probably pass on this one. But if you have drier skin, this is a nice option. And for the last one, the First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen, which is a zinc oxide based sunscreen. Also has a really nice tint. I'm wearing it today under my foundation and it really does play well with other products. Works great under foundation. And to be honest, some days you probably won't even need foundation. So for tinted sunscreens, those are my favorite. And I've got three more ones that are the worst ones I've tried recently. Okay, the doc, I, I, I uh, kind of ranted about this in my live stream yesterday, but their Sick of Pear sun, sunscreen is awful. It's got a terrible white cast. It's got too much fragrance in there. I hate it. I just don't like it at all. It's horrible. I just, I'm sure there's some people that works great for, you know, because if you have 99 people that hate something, there's always going to be someone that it works for, but I just dislike it. Don't recommend wasting your money on it. Okay, the other one is the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen. It's awful. It's terrible. It was a waste of money. I lost my receipt. I wish I could return it, but I don't even feel confident even passing this down to anybody. This is going to be probably a body sunscreen, maybe. It's just that bad. And the last one, is I don't dislike this one as much, but I just found this one to be too hydrate, too drying. And I feel like it's going to be too hydrating for those with oily skin, but too dry for those with uh, dry skin. Too, yeah, too dry for those with dry skin. This one, in my opinion, really only suits those with normal skin because otherwise it ends up looking greasy in some places and accentuates dry patches all over the place. So unless you have normal, perfect skin, um, I'm jealous of you. But otherwise, it's just, it's just too suited for only one type of person. It just doesn't work well for the average person. So anyway, those are my favorites and my three ones to avoid. So anyway, you guys are going to be impressed. My countertop, I actually had room to display all these in my list set, which is impressive because this countertop was very, very filled, full a couple weeks ago. So now I've actually got room to do things on it, which is kind of fun. I clean my brushes too. Anyway, so I'm interested in hearing from you guys what your favorites are, what your hates are. Leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. Uh, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much.